Hey everybody, welcome to Life with Gwen and Joe. And we have a very special show today. And what's our show about? It's about doing good. In fact, it's about good deeds. So hang in there and watch this. It's good to be good. It's good to be kind. Life with God is so good. Mind. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Let's talk about good deeds. Let's see, what, what, what does God have to say about what He expects from us doing good deeds to others? Oh, I mean, the scriptures are full of it. How can you overlook it that uh, people think about, uh, you know, that's a work or whatever, and I'm sitting there going, you better believe it. Like, we get to do good and work for God and His kingdom, and that's what you'd be doing upstairs anyway. So think about how it makes you feel. Think about how, you know, how do you feel after doing something good for someone? That's that's a truly um, fulfilling thing to know that you went out of your way uh, and did some selfless act for another person. And God talks in the Bible, I mean, Jesus talked about uh, treating your neighbor as though you would have them treat you. And so doing acts like that ultimately is very, um, it's, it, it's just very gratifying to know that you're uh, giving of yourself. Yeah, I did you, you know, uh, I did Brownie Scouts. Did you do any of that? I did Brownie Scouts too. <laughs> and I did, I actually didn't go past uh, being a Brownie Scout, mm -hmm. but, and sold the cookies and, and that kind of stuff. But, you know, that, that was part of being a Brownie Scout. You like go and do something good. So even the world will talk about, I mean, you've got the Peace Corps, you've got so many different things in the world where uh, everyone in the world applauds doing good deeds, and so why, why, why not all of us uh, get behind that and teach our teach it to our children? From Titus three eight, it says, "This is a trustworthy saying, and I want you to stress these things, so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone." Romans two seven. To those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, He will give eternal life. So that by persistence in doing good, yes, and seek glory, honor, and immortality, I mean, it's persistence, and I mean, there's so many more, I mean, uh, scriptures, but He's asking us to be careful to devote themselves to doing what's good. Right. And they're excellent, they're profitable, on this earth and then he talks about for salvation and doing good and then so we have a lot of ministries in fact all the ministries i would say that we've got are, are about doing good and one of them is the the prison ministry let's talk about the prison ministry for a minute because uh the remnant has an amazing prison ministry and you know these prisoners in these prisons i know that the connotation there is that these guys deserve to be there and they've committed crimes and all that, but the, the, the prison conditions are such that, that it's very hard for these prisoners, once they've done their sentences, to come out of those places with any true hope about life, with any, with any um, kickstart back into the world, and, and to reach out to these guys who are there. They're hungry for, for human connection, for, for, from outside connection, and so this church has been so amazing in doing that. Um, I'm always really inspired to see all the people involved in that, reaching out to these guys in prison. I, I can tell you that's one of my uh, most fulfilling times. And watching the humility of these men is second to none. I mean, if, I mean it, it, it was inspiring to me. And that's, that's the message I want to get across is that the irony when God's calling us to do good is that then we are more blessed from doing that good than the good that we do. And so it's it's truly to, it's for us. It's inspiration. Are you bored? Are you down? Are you unconcerned? Then here's a way to do it. You know, get up and go, do good, and then you'll be inspired. These guys are so humble. I mean, it, it improves so much. God's using it to help people to turn toward Him. To see that footage of you talking with these men, praying with these men, and their reaction to you, uh, is just very, very inspirational. Um, it really breaks your heart to see how, how broken down uh, these men get in prison. And for you to show up and feed them the spirit and just feed them hope and 
it's just an amazing thing. And uh, there, there's a, a very big reward for people who can do stuff like that. And it's pretty good. Well, that's what all these these guys on the prison team say. They say there's nothing like it. So they wouldn't they wouldn't quit it for anything because they're getting more out of it. guys travel for thousands of miles just to go yeah. uh, teach classes and teach them about how to how to get this relationship with God and um, these people that do this are just uh, talking about true saints I mean oh, you man. got Linda Harden you got Jody you got the McPherson's Greg and, yeah. yeah Derville all these guys uh, they're they're amazing and there's another whole group that does a mail out they do 1500 Wow. Uh, like fold outs and mail outs a week. And um, so these guys are amazing. Out of 10 states in US and Canada, right? Yeah, we're in 10 states. Uh, the, the prison ministry has expanded to 10 states. And I also wanted to mention that the Remnant received the Faith-Based Program of the Year award from the prison system for reaching out to these prisoners yeah. and showing them love and keeping in touch with them and giving them hope and um, spreading the gospel to them. Yeah. So that's a beautiful thing. It is beautiful. And I also want to mention the Eikenberries, also the A-Belts, uh, Brenda. I mean, some of these people specifically visit like Joseph Smith and Sonia. Right. And uh, you know, what breaks our heart is that there are situations where there are people there that are innocent and uh, been falsely accused. It's, it's something that people can do to others. It's always been around. The Bible talks about falsely accusing and how if somebody falsely accuses someone they're they're not on their way to heaven I mean you that's just a big no-no and I see why now because it is so hard but then you know Paul talks about going in there and and all, never neglecting uh, you know visiting those in prison those saints in prison so it's beautiful to think that somebody would be falsely accused and put into that environment Mm. without ever having committed the crime that they're accused of is uh it's my heart it is just because the conditions are are just scary i don't think anybody can fathom uh leading the lifestyle that they know and being put into the prison system it, it is not a good time and we pray for those guys we do we do now jesus talked about uh yes. look at look at his life he set the example we're to follow in his footsteps and this is what his days look like. All right, so uh, we could speak from Acts. It says, you know what has happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with, with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. Wow. And so uh, it's exciting to, to know that we're doing what Jesus did. That's you know? right. That's right. His, uh, his acts, uh, to, to think that Jesus was put on this earth to go around doing that and how we're supposed to kind of be Christ-like and kind of be of that mindset um, is an amazing thing. And it, it, re it really requires a special understanding of, of what our true intentions are, it is. what God expects of us. And uh, you got to really reach down deep um, to, to get to that place because, uh, we, you know, in our daily lives we get caught up and we tend not to think about the needy, but that's really what we're supposed to do. Exactly. And then it makes us feel better and not just, just those you love. I mean, it talks about in the Bible that anybody can love the lovely or love, the, love giving something to someone who's going to give back to you like it's reciprocal, but with the type of love that Jesus and God's asking to see is in our heart, would we do good even if we get nothing in return? So, uh, you know, that's where the, the true test comes in. So, doing good and... And not expecting anything back. Not to become weary. Right, in Galatians, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Well, let's don't give up. Yeah. Let's keep going. And we will and reap a harvest. Good. All the different ministries out there from council, doing uh, things with uh, the, those that are sick, uh, those that are aged. Uh, the, a lot of needs right there in those last few years of life.
people are doing good with helping with weddings. They're helping with children, uh, which is huge. They're helping with assemblies. They're helping with music. We've got so many people doing beautiful things. Uh, the Remnant is an amazing place, and uh, I'm so proud of everybody, the way they reach out to everyone, not just the prison ministry, but people that come from out of town, people that are um, in, that have family problems, that have marital problems, that have financial problems, uh, mm -hmm. youth, youth oriented uh, ministry. It's just an amazing thing to watch. It is, it's amazing. So I'm excited about it. We're gonna, we're gonna leave the show. We're gonna go make our list of what we're gonna do to do good things. So we want you to join us with that, but thank you for joining us in watching Life with Gwen and Joe. We're very blessed that you spend this time with us. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. It's good to be good. It's good to be kind. It's good to have your needs on my mind. I could truly say I'm glad I found you. I looked at your face. What could I say? All of my troubles left that day. I could say I am glad I found you. I just want to be around you. And every time I find myself getting down, I think it through and it's good to Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Look at my friends, the people around me, but all I need is your love to surround.